Well, this week, this week we're down um, a couple horseshoe band in Lake of the Ozarks. Um, got this walkway it leads over here to the garage. You know, it's uh, into the front stoop there. I got to take this overlay off. It's broke up pretty good. Um, it's pretty damaged. It almost looks like they put it over a um, slab of rock or something. And it could be a couple of coatings, I guess, uh, of concrete, but it's in pretty bad shape. It's got a lot of uh, cracks, a lot of damage to the to the slab, but uh, I just kind of took my hammer and chipped that off, and it's, it's hollow up underneath there in that spot. I'm not sure how it looks up in here. There's uh, you know, a few cracks and some water where they water their plants. So if that water's gotten up underneath of there, there's probably a good chance that a lot of this underneath here is kind of hollow. So I'm going to go ahead and start grinding this off and see what we've got up underneath of here. Okay, we're going to pick up where we left off on this job. They've got this slab right here re-poured and um, it's ready for an overlay right now so i'm grinding the rest of it off over here as you can see that's where i stopped i cut that line across there and we poured their concrete and i've got to come in here and you know, grind the rest of this concrete overlay off that was on here oh. and i've already started that's what the white is i'm taking that down to the original concrete I've got to bring it down. There's about a half inch lip that I've got to go ahead and and get you know get down flush, maybe a half inch or so, and we'll probably slope it back about a foot and a half, so it's got a nice slope to it. But yeah, other than that, this is what we've got to start with today. We're gonna hopefully get everything ground down today and come in and and do our first base coat tomorrow. The finished look is gonna be a wood plank. Look, look, I am your father. Ah. Okay, it's day two on this concrete wood project down Horseshoe Bend and Lake of the Ozarks. This is Rick. Uh, we just got the base coat on, finished the grinding, put the base coat on. It looks kind of spotty right now because it's drying up. Uh, it's getting kind of warm out here and, you know, wind's blowing pretty good, but this is the base coat. It's actually going to be darker than this, but I didn't want to go in with a, a white base coat, uh, so I added some color to it. But you can see how much it is uh, drying right there. And that's where I started. It gets a little bit more solid here. I'm probably going to wind up going with a second coat and it'll be darker and you can see where it's more and more solid as far as a darker color goes because here's where I stopped but I'll actually do a shade or maybe three shades darker than that I want it to be pretty dark um, because when we put our wood pattern down and pull our tape this is the grout coat that you're going to see that's that's the color but you know it's going to be almost black uh real dark you know charcoal so um it always lightens up several shades when, when it is drying but it always goes back to a darker color so here's where we're at right now on the stage um we've got several steps to go but uh we should be done with this next wednesday or thursday and right now i believe this is may 2nd um uh, wednesday so anyways that's what we got for now All right, we got our second base coat on, a little bit darker this time. So this is the color that you're gonna see, probably actually even darker than this once we put the stain on it, seal it. You know, of course, after the wood texture goes on it. But this is uh, a little bit truer to the color. So it just went down, still a little wet. It will dry light, but it'll go back to this color when it's done. But. It's, uh, it's a lot more solid now. Um, 
starting to dry up here and there so there might be I don't know if it's shadows or it's just drying up in certain areas but there you go second base coat is down okay we now have the fiber tape over our two base coats all the wood planks have been measured out everything's hand taped four six and eight in the width the length is just kind of random I really don't want a pattern I'll be in Monday spray over the top of this with the grout coat color that way we lock that tape down and get it sealed off because Tuesday we're gonna be doing the texture Wednesday we're gonna be staining and Thursday we're gonna lock this thing down seal it up and get home okay we've got our tack coat on you can still see the tape ghosting through the tack coat of concrete because it's just a thin layer We'll come back in tomorrow morning with the texture coat. So it almost doesn't look like the uh, almost doesn't look like there's anything over it because you can still see that tape quite a bit. But tomorrow you will not see this tape. I'll bury it tomorrow. and then I'll pull it up probably tomorrow afternoon and then we'll stain it Wednesday. Okay, we have the wood texture coat on here. Uh, we'll just do this coat in a white because uh, tomorrow we'll come in and pull the tape, the pattern tape that's underneath of it. And um, you know, then you'll be able to see the texture a lot better. And of course the pattern once the tape's pulled, but we do it white because we're gonna color it with a couple of different colors tomorrow. So that way uh, we've just got a clean slate to begin with. Um, it just works better if it's done on a white base. And I don't know if you can see this very well or not. There's a lot of shadowing here, but it's really hard to tell what the texture looks like. Let me get a little closer. The sun is so bright out here that it's kind of bleaching everything out. Let's try it here. Alright, so that's what we have for now. Okay, it's cleaned up and ready for some color. All the tape's been pulled, it's been cleaned up, joint lines opened back up, it's been edged up against the driveway. Everything's nice and clean there. Uh, all the nail holes have been drilled. So every plank has two nail holes on each side of it. Four per line. That's where the planks meet. And they are staggered, um, uneven, on purpose. We want this to look as authentic as possible. Perfect imperfection if that makes sense. <clears throat> so I'm getting ready to come in and just hit those nail holes with uh, some darker color to make them completely black. And then we'll start the coloring which is going to be brown and amber. Okay, this is before the sealer goes on. But the color's all done, cleaned up, it's ready to go actually started sealing it up top but I stopped to take this video real quick this is how the color turned out again this is before the sealer I'll do a final after the sealers on
let me know does that look like wood about as close as I pretty much can get it there's different looks different colors a little bit different patterns that you could do with it but overall I think uh, mission accomplished Okay, this job in Four Seasons is complete. Concrete wood is done. Got some nice texturing, real nice coloring. Just goes uh, perfect with the setting they've got here. How they have this, the house uh, decorated. You know, the big wood beam pillars and the front door, all the rock. It's just a real look, rustic look. So this just kind of finished it off. This is going to run all the way over here to the front stoop. I mean the garage, sorry. We didn't want to do anything with that drain other than just do a picture frame around it. I didn't want to drop any lines in it because it's such a small area. our wood look for the most part on the uh, sidewalk and the front stoop area. That would have looked really weird I think with a bunch of lines running through it, especially with that grate. And we just got some uh, really nice texturing and coloring here. Let's see if I can get a little closer so you guys can see it. We have to keep the joint lines open, so that's what that is. Can't fill those in. Because the concrete wants to expand in the winter months. Well, winter and, and summer, so that concrete has to move. So we gotta leave those expansion joints open. sun kind of gives you a little bit different perspective it does bring out the color but it also kind of makes it look a little bit different than what it really is too that's why it looks so different over here where it's covered up in the shade versus out there right in that bright sun so the rest of it does look like this it's just the sun just kind of blends it together more texture since we're in the shade here and the coloring. Got a few knot holes, got all the uh, nail holes also drilled in every plank. There's a knot hole there.
Okay, that's about it for this one. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, like the video if you like it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And hit that little bell so you stay subscribed to my videos. Uh, links are below to my Facebook page and my website where you can get more information. Alright, see you guys on the next one.